The team began to move the primary shield tank, or PST, in June 2023. The PST was filled with water, which provided radiation shielding during reactor operations. The PST was constructed of both carbon and stainless steel. With the outer shell of the primary shield tank removed, a cylindrical inner annulus was exposed. The inner annulus was then sized and removed from the vapor container. After the PST and inner annulus were removed, the team began sizing and removing the eight carbon steel concentric shield rings. In order to reduce personnel exposure, the team first removed the top half of the outer seven shield rings. By sequencing work in this manner, the team was able to utilize the bottom half of the shield rings to maintain personnel exposure as low as reasonably achievable Torch cutting was efficiently used to cut and size the shield rings inside of the vapor container. Each ring section was lifted from the vapor container and was also placed inside intermodal containers for disposal. Fixative was used to bind any loose contamination to the surface of the components before they exited the vapor container. Once all interferences were removed, the team performed a load test to verify the structural integrity of the lifting points before lifting the reactor from its home for the past 67 years. Here you can see the RPV being painted with the blue colored fixative and prepared for removal. The RPV weighed approximately 32,500 pounds. Here is an historic photo from November 1956 when the reactor pressure vessel was installed inside the vapor container at the SM-1 facility. The reactor pressure vessel was carefully lowered into a custom-designed and fabricated shielded shipping liner. This liner was fabricated for final disposal of the SM-1 reactor pressure vessel. The shielded shipping liner was placed inside a steel, open-top shipping container. Once the RPV was placed inside of the liner, the team void filled the shielded shipping liner with foam per the waste acceptance criteria of the waste disposal facility. With the void spaces filled with foam, the shielded shipping liner lid was lifted and secured. Then the open top shipping container was closed. The loaded open top shipping container, which contained the shielded shipping liner, the RPV and void fill foam was lifted and placed on the shipping trailer. The weight of the loaded container was 56,500 pounds. Once the open top shipping container was secured to the shipping trailer and all shipping paperwork was verified and signed, the load was sent off-site for transport to its final destination on November 3, 2023. On November 7, 2023, the reactor pressure vessel arrived at Waste Control Specialist in Texas. The disposal facility unloaded the reactor pressure vessel package and placed the item in the Federal Waste Cell for disposal. 